Hey everyone! Okay, so this is a way, way overdue update on how Ewan has been doing. Um, yeah, it has taken me ages and ages, obviously ages and ages, to do this video just because it always seems like I just never quite had the time to do it. Um, he would be cranky when I would have time, or if he was asleep or napping, there was always something else um, that I had to do. Um, so, right now he is content, and I am going to do my very best to get in over five months worth of an update on Ewan. So, here we go. I am probably going to miss things, um, but if you have any questions at the end of this video, you can absolutely um, leave the questions below. So, let's go! Right now, Ewan is five months old. Um, he was five months on the third of January. Um, so he's he's like a little boy now. Like he has his own personality and absolutely not a newborn anymore. He yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome to watch him kind of discover things and you know, as you can see right now, he is chomping on things, so he's doing a little bit of teething. Um he he babbles all the time and yeah, he's just overall overall cute. Um, so yeah, uh, basically I'll start with um, maybe his growth. Um, so when he was born, he was born on August 3rd and he was 8 pounds 11 ounces. Um, and right now he is um, 13 pounds 7 ounces, or at least that's what he was um, the last time he was weighed, which was on December 13th. Um, so he's definitely more than that now. Um, he's actually a slow grower, um, not exactly 100% sure why, but he has been seeing the pediatrician because of his slow growth rate. Um, he's actually only in the 11th percentile for his weight, um, and he's actually in the 76th percentile for height, and the 86th percentile for his head. He's got a big old head on him, um, which I could have told them because, you know, when he came out it felt big. Um, <laughs> So yeah, um, he does spit up quite a bit, and he has spit up a lot, um, probably since he was about three weeks old. He really, really started to spit up um, after every single feeding, um, sometimes as much as an ounce, ounce and a half, um, but usually probably about a half an ounce after each. Um, after every feed, he'll spit up that much. Um, the pediatrician isn't super concerned because he's not cranky. He's not a cranky baby by any means. He's he's pretty happy. Um, he's going to make a liar out of me right now because he's going to start to crank. Um, what's that? What is that? Um, yeah, the, the pediatrician isn't really concerned because um, he's pretty happy. Um, so she calls him a happy spitter. Um, she would like his um, weight to be higher, um, but again, she's not concerned and she doesn't want to tell me to stop breastfeeding, which we are still breastfeeding um, because, you know, breast is best. Um, and at this point, he's going to be starting solids when he turns six months, um, and so anything that he may not be getting from my breast milk, um, you know, he'll be starting to get when he starts solid foods. Um, she doesn't think that my milk is of poor quality, although it hasn't been tested. Um, but she just thinks that um, I'm small. My husband's not like a, a big guy. Um, he's 5'10", 175 pounds. And, um, you know, people on my side of the family aren't super big. Uh, we do have some tall people, but um, not big people by any means. So we think that he just might be small. Um, but he seems overall overall healthy. Um, one of the options that they said that I could do is pump, uh, give him breast milk, and then put some rice cereal in the bottle, which I didn't feel comfortable doing. She said I could start him a little bit early with rice cereal, which again I wasn't comfortable doing. Um, so, but she said that if I didn't want to do those things it was absolutely okay because he, in every respect, you know, is healthy. <laughs> He's uh, reaching his milestones like he should be. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. He's telling you that he's a healthy boy. 
Um, so yeah, as of right now, I just see the pediatrician once a month with him, uh, just to kind of track his weight, and I'll see him again, see the pediatrician, who's a female, um, again on the 21st, and uh, we'll go from there, so maybe I'll make another video and let you know what she says about that. So yeah, that's... Um, so that is um, his growth and his weight and all that. Um, what else? Sleeping. Um, Ewan is actually an awesome sleeper. Um, since he was about seven weeks old, he's been sleeping through the night. Um, before that, he would be up probably two or three times through the night and I would get up and breastfeed um, and he'd usually go right back to sleep. Not always, but usually. Um, but then at seven weeks he started sleeping through the night, um, and sleeping through the night meaning uh, about seven, six or seven hours. And by the time he was ten weeks he was sleeping eight, sour, eight, hours, eight hours at least every night, um, and slowly worked his way up to about ten to twelve hours every night, which was awesome. Um, now, that being said, that uh, stopped about a week ago when um, he got a bit of a cold and he started really, really having some um, pain, I think, in his, in his mouth because I believe he's teething. Um, and he started waking up through the night um, and he really, really hasn't been sleeping uh, very well all this week. He wakes up, you know, two or three times through the night. I don't always feed him, um, you know, wake him up, give him his sookie and... Um, and then he's usually fine to go right back to sleep, um, but um, he will wake up, uh, he'll usually go down to sleep around midnight, and he'll wake up now at around 6 or 7, um, and he'll want to be fed. And, um, yeah, and then he'll go right back to sleep and he'll sleep till about 11, 11.30, which is nice, um, that he'll go right back to sleep, but it's not as nice as it was when he was just sleeping all the way through. Um, I just think it's his mouth is bothering him, um, he, like I said, he's telling you himself. Um, his teeth have really been bothering him, and I think that's what, what's doing it. Plus, he has a bit of a cold right now, he's a bit stuffed up, um, and he has a bit of a cough, so... I think that's kind of what's keeping him up right now. Um, I have been giving him a little bit of Tylenol um, just to help with his mouth um, before he goes to bed. But um, he's still waking up, so I just think he's he's going to be bothered. Um, I haven't felt anything actually coming through. There's a little bit of a bump on the top, on the left, um, but I'm not sure if that's a tooth kind of starting to come through or not. But we're keeping an eye on it. Um, what else? Um, his milestones that he's been hitting as far as like holding his head up and rolling over and smiling and giggling and, and all that fun stuff. Um, I believe I got the first real like definitive this is a smile at around six weeks and um, then I got the first recording of his smile at around seven weeks um, and I do have that um, recorded. So I'll put a link um, either down below or maybe I'll link it here, uh, maybe just right here, um, a link to that video so you can see the video I got of his uh, first smile caught on video. It was so cute and it was just like a big gummy smile, um, which was awesome. And it was for his mommy, which was even better. Um, as far as rolling over, um, he's been slow with the rolling over. To be honest, he's five and a half, well, yeah. Well, just over five months. Sorry about that, someone got a little bit fussy um, and wanted his bunny. Um, yeah, with the rolling over, he very slow to roll over. Um, it's mostly my fault because I didn't give him enough tummy time. Um, and the reason I didn't give him a whole lot of tummy time is because, like I mentioned already, he's um, he's a spitter. He spits up quite a bit. And because we were having... Uh, like growth issues with like him gaining weight. I didn't want to put him on his belly and then he would throw up every time I put him on his belly and then 
Yeah, anyway, so he's slow at rolling over. He still doesn't really roll over all that much. Um, I don't think it's because he can't. I think it's just because he doesn't want to. He pushes up really well when he's on his belly, um, and he's starting to put his knees underneath him when he lays on his belly. Um, but he doesn't really roll over that much. He's just content to be on his belly. I'm not sure. Um, he loves to stand, um, and when I hold on to his hands, he will push himself up, or like pull himself up. Um, so I know that his legs are really strong and his arms are getting strong. Um, but yeah, with the rolling over part from belly to back, he doesn't really do it all that much. Um, but again, I just I don't think it's because his muscles aren't developed. I think it's just because he doesn't want to. Um, as far as breastfeeding is concerned, um, like I mentioned, we are still um, exclusively breastfeeding. Um, I won't go into a huge amount of detail in this video because it is a video onto itself. Um, we've definitely still had struggles. Um, if any of you have watched my breastfeeding update that I did, I think it was at 12 weeks, um, we definitely still struggled from that point. Um, and I'll do a video to let you guys know exactly what we went through. Um, and we still are struggling, to be quite honest. Um, it has not been easy for us. Um, but I'm just, I'm not willing to give up just yet. Um, so we're still trying things to try and um, get our issues resolved. Um, but yeah, it's still been a struggle and I'll do a whole other separate video to talk about that stuff. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else. I'm, I really can't think of anything. It's probably because I didn't plan any of this out and, um, yeah. If I had been more efficient with planning, I probably would have tons of notes to let you know exactly. Um, you know, everything to update, but what I'll do is I'll just leave it at that so that this isn't a super long video, um, and if you guys have any questions or if I remember anything, I'll do a follow-up video. Um, I probably shouldn't say this in a video because then I'll be held accountable, but, um, and I really don't want to be held accountable, but my New Year's resolution has been um, to vlog more. Um, I really, really miss vlogging, and I just... I mean, a lot of it is that I'm, I'm busier now, and it's harder to find the time to vlog um, with him. He's demanding. Um, but a lot of it is, and I will admit, it's just, you know, excuses that I come up with. Oh, I can't do it right now because of this. I can't do it right now because of this. But I think if I really tried, um, I should be able to vlog more. So that is my resolution, and so I'm really, really hoping to keep you guys updated. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, um, and if I forgot anything, I will put it in my next video. Alright, say bye to the YouTube. Looks like I don't want to. I want my bunny. Look. Oh, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, YouTube. We'll be back again. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you later.